Hey guys, welcome to the Creative Arena. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set the Elemental tab widget to close by default on page load. I've already taken the time out to create this basic structure here using the tab widget and the container as you can see here. Okay, and also it's responsible on all devices. Okay. Alright, so let's come back here and let me just walk you through what I did. So now what I did here was just add a container. Give it a minimum height value of 100 VH, direction set it to column vertical, and then let's find content to the center and align item to the center. And then I added a tab widget here. Okay, and you can see these are the various tabs here with different contents. Okay, and then for the tab widget, I came over here to the direction. I set the direction to before. You can set yours after. You can set it at below. You can set it above. Okay, so I just kind of like it before for our desktop view and then for the tablet i set it above and then for the mobile it's also above okay all right depending on however you want this is just what i did here for the purpose of this tutorial so in your situation you can tweak it to have whatever you want so now in order for us to be able to have the effect which we want on our website i'm going to show you two methods on how you can apply the code on the website to achieve the effect we're looking for now the first method works for both the elemental pro user and the elemental free version user so and the second method works only for the elemental pro user okay so now for the first version which works for both the elemental pro users and the elemental free version all you just need to do is to come over here and then search for the html widget okay and you select it and we now have it here okay now what i'm going to do next is i'm going to head over to my code editor we have written down the javascript code that will perform that task for us okay so i'm just going to copy it not to worry about this code it's going to be made available in the comment section of this video for free for you to use on your project okay so now i'm just going to come back here and then i'm going to paste the code here now you can see that nothing really happens on our editing screen however what we're going to do here, we're just going to click on publish. And then we're going to click on preview changes. Now, if you're making use of the Elementor free version and the Elementor pro version, if you just use this method, you have the same effect, which is what we have here. Okay. So now when you click on tab one, you're going to see the content of tab one. When you click on tab two, you can see the content tab four and so on. And if you should refresh this page on default, it comes up close, like what you can see here. It comes close unless it is clicked. It is not open when on page load. So now when you click, you can see whatever you have here. Okay. And also, if you're using the Elementor Pro version, now you don't need this particular method. The best way to go about it is just to delete this. As soon as you're done designing your tabs for all the pages in your website, you just click on publish. And then when you come over here, you can see here that nothing really works. It all shows. As you can see, so all you just need to do is to go to your dashboard. Elementor has given us the a future for pro users where you come over to the custom code and you can add a custom code. All you just need to do is to create a new code and then we can title this tab closed by default. Okay, title whatever you want, and then for the location, you set it to the body end and then you just select this always load jquery and you come over here and you paste the same code here we've copied here you come over here and you paste it here now you're just going to come over here and click on publish now this is where it gets interesting for pro users now with this feature you can select the condition to be on the entire site so in a situation where you have multiple tabs on different pages on your website and you want this effect to occur on all tabs on the website all you just need to do is to select the entire website and you can set it for a singular website a particular website and so on so depends on whatever you want but this is really much better for the pro user so you just click on the save changes and now when we come over here and let's say we refresh this now you can see by default it is gone and so when you click you now see the content here okay so that's pretty much about this tutorial if you've learned something new from this tutorial remember to give this video a thumbs up and if you are new to our channel remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified first when i drop a new video and feel free to drop your comment wherever you're confused or have any suggestion or questions and i'll do what to attend to as much as i can for now bye bye